what's going on everybody this is Morton Power here welcome back to the channel hopefully you guys are having a powerful day today we are back and we're going to be doing more gun reviews from the Call of Duty World War 2 beta today we're going to be reviewing the most overpowered gun in the beta the most used gun in the beta and that gun would be the STG 44 now this gun was the gun that everybody used it was the go-to when you first started because you got the preset class with it once you unlocked it and got attachments with it you were like a beast with this gun some of you this gun was the be-all end-all of the Call of Duty World War 2 beta for both weekends for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox one this gun I every time I hopped into a game somebody was using it Actually, multiple people were using it, and I don't know how many times I got killed by this gun on Ardenus Forest after running out of a spawn and getting head glitch killed. Now, I'm going to go over some of the uh, pros and cons of this weapon, um, and we're going to start out with the pros. The pros are the iron sights. I love a gun with a good iron sight on it. Uh, normally, in older Call of Duty, when we had the pick 10 system, it, if a gun had great iron sights, it would allow me to use that spot for the optical for another attachment. And um, that, you know, freed up the ability to do different things. But now that we have divisions, that's not the case anymore. I just like a gun with a good iron sight just because I don't want to run around with an optical all the time. I want to run around because I don't really like reflex sights. When Black Ops 3 came out, I loved the ELO sight because it gave you a little bit of a wider range um, you could see outside of your scope uh, you weren't you didn't have anything obstructing you and that's just how an iron sight is I can see in my peripherals and it's just it's gives me depth to where I can have more awareness of my surroundings uh, next thing is the damage this gun arguably has the best damage out of an assault rifle that I've seen in a while because this gun you can I believe it's a three shot at short to mid ranges and then from those longer mid ranges to, to long ranges it's a four shot kill and I, I don't know what else I can say about the damage for this gun is that if you were on point with your with your aim and your accuracy you're gonna be dropping bodies and it's gonna be like that song let the bodies hit the floor I mean that's just for real um, I seen a guy go 35 and 2 with this gun and he was just on a tear and then another thing is the recoil along with damage you get the recoil now the recoil is manageable it's side to side um, you don't really need stock or grip or anything like that to to manage the recoil on this gun the gameplay that you're seeing on Gibraltar is actually um, with no attachments I believe um, freshly unlocked STG 44 and I just I went to town I uh, played a little few games after and just destroyed people with it um, another thing is the range like I said the range is you can you can get kills up to long ranges and all the maps that we've had I think the uh, the two biggest maps that we had in the beta were, were um, Ardenus Forest and and Aachen the, the map they introduced in the weekend too um, and you can you can get kills at those long ranges I was challenging LMG users I was challenging snipers and uh, you know as my, with, with my skill level I was able to to tame a lot of those now normally I have a list of cons for the weapons that I review, but today I don't. The only um, the only con that I have is, like I said earlier with the damage, you have to be accurate with this gun. If you're not accurate, you're not gonna you're not gonna succeed with this weapon. And that's something that I struggle with is a little bit of accuracy. Um, it's more of firing off sprinting it's easier with SMGs because they're lighter weight you can ADS quicker and it's fine but with 
with assault rifles it's a little bit slower so you got to be a little bit more accurate you got to be able to snap on people which I um, am working on so that's the only con I have for this gun my overall opinion is this gun is too overpowered I feel like it does need to be nerfed a little bit for the full build of the game but that's actually you know a matter of opinion uh, but that's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Let me know what you think of the SCG-44. And uh, stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe because I have a video coming out um, later. I don't know if it's going to come out later today or in the next couple of days. But it's going to be as to why I have not been uploading. So if, uh, if you want to see that, stick around. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.